Good morning, beautiful people. Doodle is getting ready for work and <laughs> she was so nice. Like she bought me sushi and then she made me fried cheese and she bought me frozen waffles for breakfast. I feel terribly spoiled. Thank you for letting me stay with you. I Aww. really appreciate it. Of course. I'm so glad you came. <laughs> I'm going to finish updating my journals and then pack up my stuff and uh, start the next leg to Colorado. Colorado is the next goal. I have no idea where I'm going to be tonight, but that's fine. <laughs> Dude and I were just taking some photos and I put my phone on my tank and I went to move the bike and the phone fell off my tank. And you guys, I've dropped this phone so many times and nothing's ever happened to it because I have the OtterBox case on it. Well, it must have fell just right. <laughs> um, so it's finally cracked, but it still works. And that's what matters. <laughs> I am somewhere west of Atlanta, Georgia, and I stopped to eat, and I ended up at this place called Linda's Place, and I ordered some steak and gravy or whatever, and it came, and I was like, I am definitely in the South. But my favorite thing about being in the South is that I can get tea with sugar in it, and it's normal. <laughs> I think that's, that's my favorite part. I might be a little bit biased in one direction, but food was really good, and now I'm plum full. Oh, hoping to make it to Mississippi tonight, I think. I do have like two backup spots just in case I don't make it that far, but fingers crossed. Putting my last empty micro SD card in the GoPro. I'm gonna have to stop and get more micro SD cards. I marked it so all these ones are empty and all of these ones are full. And I've only filled up one big SD card, but all of these micro SD cards are full. 328 gigs and 164 gig. That's, that's just from the GoPro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, going through and editing all this footage is gonna be a hell of a process when I get back. <laughs> Made it to Alabama. I just saw this really pretty pond or whatever it is. It was very idyllic and I needed to stop and document it. Stop this little grocery store in Walnut, Mississippi. Cross the state line. Three states today. Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. The thing that was kind of odd about this grocery store is I went in to grab some vegetables for camp tonight and uh, everything was wrapped in plastic. Maybe that's a normal thing, I don't know. Uh, it's not normal where I come from, so I was a little bit taken aback. So my first campground was definitely a bust. It is closed. I even went to go see if somebody else is also breaking the rules. There's nobody there and they've gated off the campground. So that sucks. The sun is already going down. So I think that I'm just gonna head towards Memphis and try to find a hotel, I guess. And then um, try to take advantage of that and uh, get out as early as I can. Cause I'm, I think I'm trying to do a thousand miles tomorrow. We'll see. I make no promises. <laughs> This is what 
$107 gets you a, a Best Western in Mississippi. This is huge. This isn't even considered a suite, you guys. It makes me wonder like what the actual suite looks like. Whoa. Um, I did buy groceries, so I'm still gonna make what I was gonna make for dinner. Save a little bit of money that way, but yeah. I'm not I'm not complaining. This is this is pretty darn nice. <laughs> bit of a freak out yesterday. I was sitting in the bed at Doodle's house and uh, figuring out where I was gonna be at the end of the day and realized there is 3,000 miles between me and home. <laughs> it is Saturday. I need to be home by next Thursday. And when I first started planning this trip, I knew that it was going to be a lot. And I knew that in order to be able to take my time in other places, that there was gonna be one day that I was gonna have to haul ass. And today is that day. <laughs> I don't know how far I'm gonna get. I don't wanna say I'm gonna do a thousand miles a day because I don't know if I can. My body is so tired. <laughs> We are in Olive Branch, Mississippi, right next to the Tennessee border, actually. We'll see how many miles I get to do today. I don't know how much of the, <laughs> I don't know how much talking to the camera I'll do today, but <laughs> woo, it's about nine o'clock. Probably the earliest that I've gotten out of a hotel thus far on the trip. Let's do this. First time I've seen one of these at, the, at a gas station. Look, they have they've got disposable gloves for everybody. That's a that's a first for me. Officially 515 miles in. There's 560 miles between me and Colorado Springs. Not too shabby. I stole, I didn't steal. I took with me 
a couple of the buns from the steakhouse that I stopped and ate lunch at. <laughs> Maybe I should look up how many miles it is to the Colorado border. Maybe I could settle for the border. It did feel really good to go from like Mississippi to Tennessee to Arkansas to Oklahoma all in the span of one day. That was really cool. Granted, I literally just like cut the corner off Tennessee and didn't actually properly go into Tennessee. But also part of my brain is really excited to go through Texas. So I think Amarillo is like 240 miles from here. The cicadas are singing to me now. Maybe I should add a little bit more work to Amanda's load. Hey Amanda, why don't you put on the screen here how many miles I've done on the whole trip at this point. And that would put into context a little bit better why I'm so tired and not just because I've did 500 miles so far today. <laughs> I forgot to say, I can also now say that I have ridden on part of the historic Route 66. So that's cool. <laughs> it makes me think about Joe. If you do not know who Joe is, his channel is called The Great Egret. He has this whole series where he rode the whole of Route 66 on his Sportster or his Iron 883. Yes. <laughs> I like the way that he talks about stuff, so thumb uh, stamp of approval. <laughs> Alrighty, after a little bit of uh, excitement uh, at an underpass where I finally ran out of gas. Moment of truth. What a good girl. Good girl. Thankfully, I carry a little bit of extra, so I got to this gas station, but there's only about 40-ish miles to the hotel in Amarillo. I think I'm just gonna do that. I mean, like, 700 miles in a day is nothing to scoff at, right? I hope that you guys like this video. Make sure you do hit that like and subscribe button if you did. If you are new here and you haven't caught other episodes in this series so far, I will link a playlist above my head that you should definitely go check out. If you like these kind of videos and would like to support the channel for as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to videos like these ad-free before the rest of the world over on my Patreon. Links to those are down in the description. If that is not up your alley, that is totally okay. I have stickers, t-shirts, prints, all the good things with my motorcycle art on them and my Redbubble shops. Links to that is also down in the description. If you cannot support me monetarily right now, that is absolutely okay. I appreciate you guys just for being here and watching these videos every single week. In the meantime, guys, I'll see you later. I think if I've learned anything on this trip, like staying at other people's houses, I am the most redneck white trash ever. <laughs> I'm not. You're an adventure rider. <laughs> You're just like staying at people's like really nice houses and I, I feel like I'm gonna break something. This, um, this lovely SD card case was given to me by Vera. Thank you, Vera, for buying this for me. This has been like, made a huge difference in my organization on the trip. But I have been enjoying like that, kind of this style of filling up SD cards and then dumping them on my external hard drive when I get an opportunity and not just like worrying about backing those up constantly um, and making sure that I have copies of them so that I can format them and fill them up again. Because this way I have two copies of everything. I have the original that is on the SD card and then I have like the backup copy which is on the, um, external hard drive but I like that a whole lot better and I'm a little bit less worried about accidentally deleting something while trying to make room for new stuff so also I did something to my hip you guys it does not feel good if I step wrong my right hip just feels like I popped it out of the socket or something it's not a it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good hopefully that goes away Hopefully I get into camp early enough tonight, I can just like sit and do some stretches and uh, hope that that helps. Until then, I've just been like trying to like hold my hip while I'm walking so it doesn't feel like it's popping out of the socket and <laughs> I'm sure I look very interesting.
I may have just ate all the mushrooms that I had cut up and uh, caramelized for my pasta. So uh, my pasta has a little bit to go. So I, I, mean, I guess I'm going to cut up the rest of my mushrooms. <laughs> Good job, Amanda. I didn't realize how hungry I was, obviously. We are in, oh my gosh, I don't even know. Someplace in Mississippi. I guess I should know that. As you can probably tell by the very classy background behind me, I am in the parking lot of a strip mall because I always pick like the classiest places to take breaks. <laughs> Not like the umpteen million state parks that I've passed today. A strip mall parking lot. I think that just reflects my white trash status, that's all. <laughs> and I don't feel good about like trying to email or like text anybody who is in Colorado that said that I could stay with them and be like, oh, and by the way, I'll probably roll in at like 3 or 4 a.m. Like, and also don't talk to me until 1 o'clock the next day. <laughs> uh, not something that I feel okay about doing. <laughs>